And today's video is all about how to make a high performance probe socket for your oscilloscope probes. I did a video in the past that showed the negative effects of having a long ground lead on your oscilloscope probes. That long ground lead inductance dramatically affects signal integrity, particularly at higher frequencies. So ideally we want to create a very low impedance or very low inductance connection from ground to your circuit under test and, uh, and from the, obviously from the measurement point as well. So probe sockets from the manufacturers tend to be expensive, but you can make them for yourself for temporary or semi-permanent use uh, for basically no cost, uh, just by using a bit of wire and some patience. So what I did to, for mine is I took a mandrel, in this case a, a drill bit, that was just slightly lower in diameter or smaller in diameter than the ground ring on the probe, and just wrapped a coil of wire around it. Okay, so we just take this wire and wrap it very, very tightly around that mandrel, Okay, and if you do it carefully and tightly, you can wind up with something that looks like this. So a really nice little uh, coil of wire that the probe will slip. If I could do this on camera here, probe can slip right into, and you can solder these two leads right to your circuit board. Now we just need to do something similar for the probe tip. So we need a much smaller mandrel. What I wound up using, and worked out well, is this nice stiff piece of wire that's on this old capacitor. And... Uh, so we just take this little bit of wire here and wrap that very, very tightly again around that wire. Okay, You can create yourself a little coil. Here's one that I've got done down here, Okay, and that's what it looks like. And just a little bit of a tail on it, so that tail we can solder to our circuit board. So let me show you an example of what I did for the next project I'm working on here. So here is the ground tip coil here and the ground, or excuse me, the probe tip coil on the top there. See if I can get this with the light in the right spot so we can see it. And the idea is we could just take this probe and slip it right in here. Okay, get the ground connection and the probe connection all in one shot. This makes an extremely low inductance connection to ground and right to the circuit that we're testing and uh, will work uh, up to high frequencies very, very well. So anyway, just a short video. I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, maybe you can go make some better connections from your scope probe to your circuits under test. Thanks for watching.